Hey y'all, this is me, Dark Bear 32. I am getting myself together to go and have lunch with a friend. I need to figure out, um, I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to carry a purse or not, because y'all know how I am with these purses. Um, like I like to carry a purse, but I need it to be the right purse, and not just that, um, Y'all know I have my, I have that little compact thing and I love that thing so much so that I don't really care to carry a purse because it's, it's a, you know, everything all in one. And, um, so I'm trying to see, I have this would go, this would be really nice. This is a, uh. A gift from one of my girlfriends from the military. And it's gorgeous, darling. It would look so good with this. But I don't know. Is it too... I don't know if it's too dressy for what I'm wearing. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing. So, I'm just very casual today. Um, real casual. Just kind of, you know... Shorts. And a nice little blouse. Whatever. Some sneaks. We're just going to P.F. Chang's. This would match. Like so. But. I don't. Sometimes I don't like to have like. the This cut like right on top of the. Color that I'm carrying. I don't know. And then I was thinking about like. Going with the more of the denim type look. Because I have on the blue jeans. And so. I was thinking about carrying like this Dior tote. Let's see what this will look like. This Dior tote. Oh yeah, I kind of like this. Because it's more of a casual vibe to me. That is more of a dressy, dressy vibe with, the, I don't know. But then with the gold hardware on it. And then I have the gold earrings here. That would be kind of cute too. I don't know, I'm feeling this better. I don't know why. I'm feeling this a little bit more so I think I'm going to go with the Christian Dior tote and just throw everything in it I'm going to throw everything in here like so I need to grab some shade wait, wait grab some shades I already got shades in here Ooh, those are cute too so I might wear those I might have this I'll put y'all in here as well and then what was it? I need to put my watch on. And what else do I need to put in? Oh, just things like, you know, girly stuff. <laughs> so I need to put stuff in there. And then I'll be out the door. But that is it. We're going to head on over to P.F. Chang's. What is trouble in your mind? Are you doing business to test? church this morning um Kayla decided to go with me I was gonna oh okay sorry wardrobe malfunction <laughs> bye y'all
People that they have a cold, if they have a you know got the flu or something, you can catch a cold, you can catch that. Well, you know, maybe you can catch negativity, but if you can catch negative things, how much more can you catch faith and joy and victory? Yeah. You know, even even the scripture says iron sharpens iron, and, and it says, um, well, I don't know the exact scripture, but it basically <laughs> says you're gonna become like you who you hang around. Well, I want to hang around some good looking, prosperous, healthy people like you. So thanks for being here. Our beautiful online family and people listening live on Sirius XM. But it's awesome to be in the house of the Lord. So many good things. Wow, what an honor to baptize almost a thousand people yesterday and all the stories. And man, I, I met people that, you now some from the old church, some, one, one had been there 45 years with us. And just incredible stories of how God's impacted the world through our ministry. And, you know, when I say the ministry, we're talking about all of us. You know, you make it happen. So it's just a, a it's a fun time to be alive knowing that God's good and he's joined us all together and I said it on the video but you know once a year we do that celebration offering and there's never any pressure but it, it is a, an opportunity like Pastor Nick said to stretch our faith and man I've learned in my own life you can't outgive God you, you're not you never nothing leaves your hand you know that that seed goes but it's going to come back to you so you know these are opportunities and people say what what's it for well it's for you know, there's media time, there's humanitarian, uh, you know, uh, opportunity. There's, there's so many opportunities to, to get the message out and it just takes funding. But you know what I remind myself, what I remind you, God owns it all. He's in control. So I don't have to fret and worry and how's it going to happen. But you know what? God, I'm going to stretch my faith. You know, like we said, we live under the open windows of heaven. Part of that open window is, Lord, I'm expecting your goodness in my life. And, you know, just to show out in your business and bring your contracts and opportunities. And even, you know, discovering talent that you didn't know you had. Where you step up and, you know, ideas and inventions and creativity. Well, you know, well, that's always for somebody else. Well, how about for you? How about believing that? What is that? And I'll quit, y'all. Ephesians 3.20. God will do exceeding abundantly above and beyond according to the power that works in you. There's some powerful stuff in you. God's going to do amazing things in. Amen. I receive it. That was good. Anyway, <laughs> don't forget, Victoria's got... simple meal today we got I got some spicy chicken wings here just dry rub and basically I do like tuna sachets with a lot of garlic powder and then over here these are like the Uncle Chris's seasoning with a lot of garlic powder and I created this is a garlic powder thing but don't don't bother that I made my own wing stop seasoning for the french fries and the fries that I'm using are these hand cut fries I put them in the oven and let them crisp up and then I'm gonna um, sp uh, sprinkle some of this season on it and look who's here y'all it's Jordan I heard, I heard there was wings <laughs> and you don't even eat chicken wings I'm gonna eat some chicken strips my son don't like nothing on no bone but that's his chicken strips right chair right chair and then I got the french fries here in the oven and they're gonna get all crispy and stuff and Kayla she's on her way back after a while she's gonna get her nails done and stuff yeah pretty laid back pretty laid back I didn't show y'all all the stuff oh but if y'all want to know here let me show y'all what is in the actual seasoning here I'm gonna show y'all here this is ooh, can y'all see that that's what's in the seasoning it is garlic powder, onion powder, brown sugar, salt and pepper, paprika, chili powder, and then of course, you know, the oil to make the fries or whatever. But that is the seasoning for the wing stop. And there's no real like recipe recipe. 
Y'all know how your girl do. I just, um, am I really close? I bet you I'm really close. Am I really close? Never. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I was. Um, so I just kind of eyeballed it or whatever and then kind of did some t tasting back and forth or whatever. But yeah, all of that is in here. So I'm going to keep it because that way when I want that wing stop seasoning, y'all know it's like that. It's the salty, sweet, garlicky type of seasoning. So hopefully it comes out really good. But we're going to test it out. And we got our blue cheese and our ranch and stuff. Oh, what is this thing? Oh, it's doing that. So I'm trying to cook Jordan's chicken strips. And I still have some more wings in there, which are also kind of spicy as well. So we're going to mix those together. And then we're just, this is just a, when I tell you a laid back meal for Sunday, because y'all know how I normally do. And then yesterday I went, y'all saw I went out to lunch, so I didn't really cook anything. And then Earl, he ordered Chinese, just like some fried rice and some crab ragoon, and that was it. Um, I wasn't feeling too good later on, so that's probably why I do record so much. But anyway, um, like I said, Kayla will be back. Jordan is here with us. Oh, wait. Right? Okay, there it is. <laughs> Jordan is here with us, and um, we're just gonna just chill. Whatever. Do I think? So, what are y'all talking about? Transformers. <laughs> More talking, damage. There was one thing with Transformers 1 that had me kind of kind of slanted. It was when like they introduced Jazz, and he's like, it was crap. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm thinking, like, hold up, you're aliens. Where did you do this? Like, dude, he learned her language from the world wide. Nah, I'm like, nah, that is Jazz, not. That Jazz got to get the dirtiest, bruh. And then it's like, he got worse really than that. Uh-uh, you're trying to look cute. Mm -mm. Yeah, oh Lord! And then look but, at but if you want to look at like, Nerdo, sure, sure, Nerdo sure. number two right behind us. <laughs> Lord Jesus! Help us, that, help, that, us that, help us that, all! That, help us all! Yeah, I never really got it. I really never. I never yeah, that's, 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 that's Kayla's boot thing. Well, she took me to see it. Yeah. The one where Isaiah, y'all. Yeah. And I'm like. That was I like, didn't even want to look into this. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know, see it. <laughs> no, I haven't seen it. I really, I really haven't watched this in fully on the main platform. Like, I haven't seen it. Uh, go ahead and log out. out. If you just watch one Thank you for three, watching. if you watch them all back to back, Thank yeah. you. then they make sense. Really yeah. But, but oh, yeah, we gotta go to work. Like, so, Alright y'all, so thanks for watching, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, the all the things, together. comment below, okay. and so don't forget why. to what? So the actual button on the show, share, share. share. why? I just saw it and I was like, so you gotta watch it. And what is my name? Karen. So why three, wouldn't you, you share? Okay. Alright guys, talk to y'all later. Trouble in your mind, baby why can't you just tell me? I just wanna be your bride, wanna be